Hi, Doc Ravis here with Watch Me Work It, determining the best Lewis structure by octet rule and atom charges. Essentially, we're going to use the octet rule and atom charge to decide which is the best Lewis structure of our choices. So let's get going. Here we have the first line um, has group 13, has a group 13 structure in it, and they're the same molecular formula and the same electron count as will be the case throughout. So we're going to check the octet rule and we're going to check the charge on the atoms and the overall charge on the molecule. To do the charge, we're going to use a quick count method or the standard formula. Most often I'll use a quick count method. If you're familiar with how to determine charges, see my other video. So let's get going. In the case of the first compound shown on the left, we're going to check for the octet rule. And this is 2, 4, 6 around boron, group 13. By the way, likes an octet of 6. And so that's good. So it checks out on the octet rule. If we check the charges around boron, we will find if we take the quick count method, it would be three valence electrons. See my other videos again for how to do these. Minus the number that are attached to boron and minus three. And that gives us zero boron. Let's just check out chlorine here too. Chlorine should have seven, and around it has two, four, six, seven. The seven valence electrons minus seven gives a zero. So this has a zero charge. Hydrogen checks out with one, with a zero as well. So the overall atom has a zero charge, and there are no charges in the atom. So that's pretty good Lewis structure. Let's check it. its counterpart here. We have two, four, six, eight electrons for its around boron, and that's high in terms of being uh, fitting the octet rule for boron. Boron prefers to stay at six, six. If we check the charge count, we have boron should have, based on base electrons, boron should have um, three, and that's based again on boron valence electrons in group 13. And so that's three, and the number it has around is one, two, three, four. So that's gonna, be a minus one. So boron is sitting with a minus one charge. The chlorine should have seven based on base electrons, but it has six associated with it. Again, see my other videos on how to do this, plus one. So even though it checks out to be neutral overall, there's a charge on here on the chlorine of plus one and on the boron of a minus one. And the high uh, octet rule for boron makes the first one a more attractive choice for a Lewis structure. Let's do the next one and we'll focus a little bit on group 14, but you'll also see a group 16 atom here as well. Let's check the octet around the first, uh, the first, the central atom, carbon two, four, six, eight, ten. That's high because carbon likes to have a, a octet of, of eight, which is a normal octet, obviously. So this is high in the octet. Let's just check the charges right away, kind of makes this not be quite as favorable, but we haven't checked this the competition yet. So let's take a look at this one a little closer. So we have, uh, we've cut these bonds in half, so we can count the associated electrons, but we'll start with the valence electrons, four valence electrons for carbon, minus the number associated, one, two, three, four, five, minus five, gives me a minus one on carbon. In that case, on oxygen, we have six is what the valence electron count should be. And around oxygen, we have one, two, three, four, five. Minus five gives me a plus one. Overall, it's a neutral molecule, but we have charges here on the carbon. We have a, a one charge, actually a minus one charge. And on oxygen, we have a plus one charge. Okay, so let's check this counterpart here. So we're gonna check these. Well, let's first check the number of Lewis uh, electrons that fit the octet rule first. And around the carbon atom, we have two, four, six, eight. So eight for the octet. And if we check the charge of carbon, we carbon should have four based on valence electrons. And it has associated with the four, so that gives us zero and oxygen base electron six minus the number associated with it, two, four, six, gives us zero. So this is a better 
Lewis structure. Take a look at an example of group 15 that also has a group 17 in it. Here we first check the octet rule. You know how we do it now. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that's 10. That's high on the octet rule. We check the charge by using a quick count method. Phosphorus should have five electrons because it's in group 15 associated with it. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's minus six. That puts it at minus one as a charge on phosphorus. Um, in case of chlorine, chlorine is in group 17, should have a seven for its valence electron. And it does have seven for its valence electron. But associated with it now is one, two, three, four, five, six, minus six. And this gives us also a minus one. So for an overall charge here, a minus two. Again, for how to do these, see my other video. Let's check the other one, the other option here. Associated with the octet, first of all, is two, four, six, eight. Looks nice for the octet. Uh, around phosphorus, or at least the charge on phosphorus, now is, um, should have five as valence electrons, or it does have five valence electrons, minus the number that it has a associated with it one two three four five minus five attached electrons that gives us a zero chlorine seven valence electrons minus the number associated one two three four five six seven so this gives us a zero so this is a beta lewis structure let's take a look at group 16 group 16 let's check the octet rule first two four six eight in case you're having trouble seeing what i'm doing with that i'm just circling every electron that's around oxygen here so that's eight two four six eight so octet rule looks good octet of eight and we can check chlorine also chlorine has an octet of eight getting a little messy here but that's okay so everything here checks out well in the octet rule but let's just check the charges to check the charge, I have to cut these electrons in half. And oxygen should have six based on the valence electron. And around it, it has two, four, six. Looks great for oxygen, zero. Chlorine should have seven. And around it, we check them, two, four, six, seven. Minus seven, we get zero. And the other chlorine is going to have the same thing, seven minus seven for zero. So that looks really good. Let's check the other option. Around the oxygen in this structure here, the one shown on this side, we have two, four, six, eight. Let me just show you those eight, just in case you can't see them. So we have those eight, so that's really good. And around the chlorine here, we have two, four, we have eight here. That's really cool. And around the other one, we also have eight. And that really looks great. So the octet checks out really good at eight on the octet. Looks nice. Let's check the charge there. On oxygen, we should have six on oxygen. On this oxygen, we have two, four, six, minus seven gives us a minus one on that oxygen. On the chlorine, we should have seven electrons of chlorine. On the central chlorine right here in the middle, we have split this in half, two. We have two, four, five, six. We should have seven minus six gives us a plus one. And on the far left chlorine, we should have seven minus the number we have is two, four, six. This one's split in half, remember? So that's seven. So that's a zero. Overall charge is a zero. But we have since we have charges on these atoms, we prefer uh, get really messy, but I think you follow me through here. And you get that one because the one on the right has charges, even though it works out to be neutral and the octet looks really good. It having a charge makes it um, not quite as strong of a Lewis structure as the ones that do not have charges. Get it? So zero charge is better for Lewis structures than having a charge. Let's do another one here. Focus a little bit on group 17, but we'll also see group 14 feature. Let's check first of all. Let's do this one. First one here on the far left. Let's check the octet around carbon, two, four, six, eight, ten, high on the octet. 
So we're high in the octet. Let's check hydrogen looks good too on each of the hydrogens. They look good, but fluorine here, let's just check it. See how many we have around fluorine, two, four, six, eight. So it looks good on the fluorine, but looks high on the carbon. So let's go ahead and check the charges then. Let's see what we have. Now I'll go ahead and tell you all the charges on hydrogen work out because hydrogen should have one and it has one. Okay, one line of hydrogen usually checks out every time. All right, so let's go to carbon here. In the middle carbon, we have one, two, three, four, five. You should have four because that's the number of valence electrons minus the number attached to it. Gives us a minus one. There's a charge on carbon. Let's look at fluorine. Fluorine should have seven. And the number attached, because we cut these in half, is one, two, three, four, five, six. Minus six, that gives us a plus one. It's neutral, okay, but it has charges on it, okay? Let's look at the middle structure here, okay? Let's check the car. Let's check the carbon for the octet. Looks great. Eight octet, great. Let's look at the fluorine here, and we have eight. Two, four, six, eight, eight for the octet there, and that looks good. Let's check the charges. Then we split these in half. Carbon should have four based on the valence electrons, minus the number attached. Each of the single dots are the ones that are attached because we cut them in half, and that gives us a zero charge. Going to fluorine, go to fluorine. Fluorine should have seven. Minus the number attached, two long pair on the top, two on the left, two on the bottom. That's two, four, six. And the one we cut in half gives us seven. So that's good. So that looks good. The octet's good for everything here, including hydrogen. Hydrogen, by the way, only likes to have two. And that's how many it has. So the, and it's neutral for that middle one. So that looks good. Let's check the one on the far right here. Let's check the octet first. The octet against carbon. Looks good. Octet on carbon is looks good. Let's check fluorine two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, we went high on fluorine for a high ten. So right away we get suspicious about that one, but let's just finish the process. And let's just check the charges. On car on carbon, we should have four based on its valence electrons. And we have we cut these in half. So that's one, two, three, four dots associated with four electrons. That gives us a zero. The hydrogens, I'll go ahead and tell you a zero because it's one line of hydrogens. Oh, it's going to be zero. Fluorine should have seven minus the number associated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, minus seven. That works out really well there. So seven minus seven gives us zero there. And hydrogen again checks out. So it checks out, it's neutral. However, we're high on the octet of fluorine, therefore the middle one wins out. Okay, so that's how we determine the best Lewis structure based on the octet rule and charge.